Hey YouTube, it's Josh from KingsTubes273 and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to make a music video on your uh, Mac. Uh, I got a message from uh, a guy, hi I'm Ryan James 25 and he wants to uh, make a music video with his friend and uh, he's having trouble uh, getting the audio right between his song and uh, him acting out the song. So uh, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to do that. First you want to open up uh, iMovie HD, uh, the 06 version I have because it's better than the 08 or the 09. So I'm going to click on that and it comes up with this. Um, you start a new project and import your video and once you've done that you can start watching this. Uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, this song we did, uh, Cobra Style by Teddy Bears. Um, and we don't own the rights to the song but this is uh, the beginning, there's, well, I'll show you part of a music video uh, that I made so far. Alright, so that was just by a pool, and it's just, you know, a fun music video. Um, you know, I got some extra you know sort of artsy clips over here you know things like uh... things like that but uh... what i've been doing so far is as you can see by this uh... this bar on the bottom placing the clips in and uh... then i have been you know superimposing them over the song which is on the bottom here um... just in case you don't know the basics for iMovie HD the top is the video so you know if i select this you know this is all this is all video right here. These are the video clips that I've put together uh, in order to form the song, uh, the uh, the video progression. And then on the bottom here is uh, the bottom two because there are three rows. The bottom two rows are audio. And uh, if you'll notice, I put the song on the very bottom. <clears throat> so the way that you uh, get a song in there is you go to media and then you go to audio up here. There's a audio and photos bar you go to audio and uh, you get the song forever from wherever uh, you wanted to do it so let's say you have a song that you made in GarageBand and you want to do it from GarageBand then you click GarageBand and your GarageBand folder comes up and your GarageBand pro projects are there and you drag one in it's as simple as that um, if you want to get it from iTunes like I'll go to iTunes right here and here's my iTunes library I'll click let's say I wanted to do it to uh, um, I don't know it's a good song We'll do an Arctic Monkeys song. Let's say I wanted to do uh, Riot Van by the Arctic Monkeys. I'd take the song, it's right here, and I'd just drag it in. And as you can see, it says importing files, Riot Van, and uh, now it's in there. You can see the big purple audio file. I can just delete that by selecting it and clicking delete. So now, you know, you can drag it around. You can split it up by putting the cursor somewhere, selecting it, and then doing Command T. And as you can see, uh, it's split in two. So let's say I wanted to start the song at a certain point here and I wanted to cut off this beginning part that I'm moving right here. Then, you know, I'd move it to the place where I want to stop it, uh, or split it, select the whole thing, and do Command T. And then, you know, I can just select the first part and delete it and bring this to the beginning or wherever I want it. So that's how you would go about splitting the audio and moving it around. That's the first part of it. Now the second part of it is putting the videos in. So I mean, I tried to cut it so that it goes in time with the music. So what you would do is you put the first video clip you want in, and then play the video clip over the song, pause the video where the point in the song is that you want to switch, cut off the first video clip there, and then put a second video clip in. So let's say I wanted to split this clip into two, and I wanted to split in the middle, I'd play this. Let's say I want to switch it right there. As you can see, the cursor's right here, halfway through. I just select the video clip, do Command T, and now it's in two. So I can delete one of them and maybe put another video clip in there. Uh, if you do that and you have clips on either side like I do and I delete this, there's a problem because everything gets shifted back to the left. So you're not everything else that you did after that is no longer in sync. So what you want to do is, I'm, I just undid that by uh, Command-Z. Before you split it, you want to say, all right, I'm deleting 
this section from 29 and the 29th second, the 28th frame, to the other end of the clip, which is the 32nd uh, second and the 15th frame. So you want to know where you want to end the clip that you're going to put in so that it'll stay in time with the stuff you've done after it. But if you're doing it left to right and you don't have any problem with that, then you shouldn't have a problem. Um, so that's that. In terms of the actual question that uh, Hi, I'm Ryan James uh, 25 asked me, um, which is about the audio, um, if you look on the right side here, uh, there's three check marks. And uh, the they correspond with the different rows. So the first check mark goes with this video row right here. So if I check this, then all the video is going to play unless, you know, you bring all the... Uh, the audio levels down. In case you didn't know, I'm going to zoom in on this. Each video clip has a little purple audio level. Um, so it has a little ball and you can move that up. So if I move this up, now you can see that um, it, it's at a, at the normal level. And then if I just bring this down, then I'm bringing the volume down until I bring it to the very bottom, which means the clip's muted. If I want to fade it in or out, I can just, you know, stick my cursor a little to the left and it'll come up with this other uh, rectangle and I can just drag it down and you see the yellow line and that's sort of like a fade in and a fade out and I can adjust those by playing with the the joints sort of so now you can see it uh, fades in and fades out with the audio but in terms of what I'm talking about here uh, I just brought all the clips down because I have a point where I actually want the video to be heard um, but if you if you want the whole video to be silent so you just hear the song that you're doing the music video to then you don't need to bring all the individual clips down. You can just uncheck this box right here on the right side, right where my mouse is moving. You just uncheck the box, which means that no matter how loud you set the video files, they're not going to make any sound. So that'll take care of that. And you want to make sure that the, the audio boxes are checked so that all you hear is the song. So that's how you do that. I'm going to post a link to a video that I have um, that I'll put up that shows how to download a song online if you want it for a music video and uh, because there's a way of doing that using a website called file2hd.com with the number 2 f-i-l-e number 2 hd.com and that's how you can get video files and audio files for your uh, thing because this this song Cobra Style by Teddy Bears was actually online I didn't have it in my iTunes and I couldn't find it on iTunes uh, I don't know if it's there now but I, I actually got it from YouTube, so I'll show you how to do that, and I'll post the link to that in this video description. Thanks a lot. Uh, if you have any questions or you want me to make a video dealing with something else or even the basics of iMovie, just post a comment, rate it five stars, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.